All right, let's change the oil and filter on a 2008 VW Rabbit. Now you don't have to jack up your car for this project, but if you do, be sure to use your parking brake, be sure to chalk the opposite wheel from the side of the car you're jacking, and use a jack stand. You'll need a T25 Torx bit to remove the eight, or in my case, six screws that are holding on the splash guard. Once those screws are removed, the front lip is still snapped into place. You need to just press into this snap to slide out either side. Let's pop off the oil filler cap, and then we'll remove the cap on the oil filter housing, which gets us access to this valve that empties the oil in the oil filter housing. Take another look here. Once that's done emptying, you can press the button back in. It stops the flow, and we can remove the oil filter housing itself. With the housing removed, let's get rid of our old paper filter. Let's get rid of this old O-ring. The new paper filter should come with a new O-ring as well. Let's dip that in oil, stick it back in the housing, stick your new paper filter back in the housing, and pop that thing back on your car. Don't over-tighten the filter. Hand tightening should be just fine. Right now it's time to pop off the drain bolt, get all the oil out, uh, let this thing drain for 15-20 minutes. When it gets down to a trickle, you can button everything back up. Don't forget to snug that bolt up. You don't want to lose any of that expensive European synthetic oil of which this thing takes one, two, three, four, five, six and a half quarts. Let's put everything back together in reverse order. Snap that front lip of your splash guard on. Again, it's T25 Torx bit to fasten this thing. Once it's all back together, let's check the oil level. Pull the dipstick, wipe it, put it back in, pull it back out, then check to see that your oil level's in the crosshatch pattern. All right, jack your car up enough to get that jack stand out, then drop it down and go for a ride with your freshly lubed vehicle.